Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Deuce. This is Gun to Battle Operation 2, and this is another long-standing request from Loop Stratos, who wanted to see something uh, cosplaying as the Gundam F91. I went through a lot of options, we discussed a lot of things, and had trouble figuring out something good, but uh, ultimately I went with the Hyaku Shiki, because the colors mapped well to it. The uh, uh, F91 has a torso design that's very unusual. It's blue on the top with gray underneath and then two white pieces on the flanks. And you can get Chaku uh, Shiki's torso to do that very well. Relatively easy to map the other, uh, the other, the limbs to, uh, look right. And ultimately, uh, the Anaheim Electronics decals did a pretty good job of aping the, uh, F91's F91 uh, on the uh, shoulders, so I'm really happy actually with how this uh, how this came out. So I hope you are too, Loop, and thank you for your patience. Kyaku Shiki is of course a 550 point raid. It is very uh, it is very strong, especially now that they have uh, given it a double dodge roll and given it uh, higher downswing damage. They they did actually increase the damage on the, on the downswing a little bit, which does help. Let's see, it also has the bird line launcher I was trying to use when I got knocked down and stabbed by pretty much everyone. I'm kind of in really deep here, and our team is not in any kind of formation, so this is mostly my fault. This is mix-up mode, so first team to deplete uh, about 16,000 points uh, from the other team wins. And spur, I guess it's 13,000 actually, because those bars are mostly full. But yeah, so... We're doing fairly well so far. I got a kill before I got killed, and it's time to jump back in as soon as I can. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, that's the thing about some of the high uh, cost stuff, the 600 pointers and all that. If you jump out and launch support fire before you uh, get ready to spawn, you actually have time. It is not a waste of time at all. There's a couple of enemies nearby, and I was waiting to uh, make sure I could actually get to my mobile suit without being killed. Which I think I have mostly accomplished, but I am going to get uh, a watch out here. Got an airstrike kill. All was nice. That is, let's see, I think there's a G4 and a Zeta here in front of me. Zeta has type disadvantage, uh, or type advantage on me, but it the one thing I have is that most of Zeta's attack, or Zeta's primary attack is, of course, a beam rifle. And I have naturally, defense tops out at 50%. So, Kyakushiki has a natural 40%, so naturally I have uh, gone with that. And, or, I have enhanced that to the full 50% because it does not take many slots to do. Has an EPAC beam rifle, so I've got reloaders on here as well, I believe. Uh, Birdlime's still coming up. Zeta's taking me on. Now, I don't have great melee defense, so I am very much in danger from that Zeta when it gets close to me. Trying to do a Vulcan kill, but Shiki's Vulcans are weak sauce, so I definitely need to just uh, go straight to the beam rifle. Bird Lime Launcher reduce, uh, reduces speed, and reducing speed does not just reduce your movement speed, it slows all of your animations. So your melee will come out slower, your dodge roll, I believe, even comes out slower. Everything, everything your mobile suit can do, it will slow down doing a little bit, so you've got to be really careful. I'm not sure if it, uh, if it reduces Gatling firing speed, but it is... Uh, the bird lime is definitely interesting. I still, I still feel like the DJ should have that, but I, I'm not going to argue the semantics of it. I don't think it ever used it in the show. They kind of gave up, I think, on using those, as I recall, uh, about halfway through. You, don't, you stop seeing it quite as often. But, okay. Things to shoot. That Zeta right there... Well, there is... That is a G5 Gundam, which is type neutral, which makes it a better target than Zeta, but the Zeta's almost dead, and right here, so kind of take that down if I can. And somebody else took it down, so now I'll work on the G5, which is dead. Good. We are running at it. We are losing at the moment, but not by a lot. That Zeta will settle things. And tackle, which missed. But actually, the tackle took me through to get me close enough to the full armor Gundam, which is not a bad outcome, especially since my teammates had my back and took down the Zeta before it could murder me. So, yeah, this full armor is right here. It is a great target for me. It is something that I can kill very quickly if I'm a good shot. 
not being a good shot right now, and I've got two people who are luckily not paying enough attention to me, so, but beams, and that's gonna do it, yes. Okay, 1,255 points left. I think I get the kill shot. I don't remember exactly how it goes down, but we'll see. I like to lead with that kick, because it's a two-hit combo, it's fairly powerful, and it just... it's fast. And fast downswings like this and the Galbaldi Alpha have are just golden. They are so useful. I hit the Zeta, but it tackled, but that means I can uh, kill if I get a chance. But nope, teammate got that other uh, Zeta Gundam, so... Yeah, I'd say that went pretty well, and again, I like how the F91 color scheme came out on the Shiki. I hope you like it, Loop. Yeah, good score, 5,537 combat score, which is uh, your your score minus your the cost of your deaths, 2,587. So I died three times. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We will be back soon with more, so till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! But yeah, just getting the particulars of F91's torso in particular was driving me nuts. I just, I really wanted to get uh, get a good likeness on that, and it was just really kind of difficult. But again, I like how this came out. So, ah, hopefully, hopefully next request loop has. I will not be forever in getting out there. <laughs>